this Mitsubishi Pajero, probably Montero or Shogun, uh, had a brake problem. This uh, rear rear uh, wheel was getting hot and was causing some sort of a vibration and I still didn't fix that part with the vibration. I hopefully this one will go away but um, I took this wheel apart and I realized the uh, rotor the uh, this disc brake was was hot and uh, these parts were hot and I said mm, something is rubbing here and uh, this video is not uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, procedure how to do the, this repair is uh, just to show you a couple of tricks I use to make my job easier I went to a mechanic who was trying to take this rotor out by pulling by doing some sort of a thing with a hammer behind and I thought oh the, probably he doesn't know this trick so what the heck is going on so I uh, told him you know you have to use this uh, holes that are made by the manufacturers in the most co most cars you will find this these holes different sizes so in this case is uh, uh, an a millimeter like a, it's m m8 uh, bolt uh, use some grease anti-seize grease if you have the copper type uh, to prevent further rust getting uh, formed into the the hole so put this uh, these bolts into both holes that you will find around so first of course you take the uh, wheel out you have it supported and that the car is jacked up then um, most likely you will uh, encounter some resistance so you have to use a uh, a wrench or some some sort of a socket wrench or something and tighten one bolt at a time so don't go on one side only because it's going to be very hard for you and uh, you may break some stuff inside of the wheel system so one turn at a time and this one will break loose uh, usually when I do this type of jobs I use some sort of a, a lubricant in some areas so in this case I've used a high temperature conductive lubricant so you don't follow my advice I'm not a mechanic uh, usually people use anti-seize um, grease but what I did um, I use this um, anti-corrosion because I'm getting uh, so I'm using some sort of an adapter here made of aluminum and that disc the adapter is sitting right here it's kind of a hub adapter so I use a, a special grease that, grease that prevents uh, corrosion between aluminum part and this metal iron part uh, but you should use some sort of an anti-seize just here prevent the, the grease to get onto the, the, the uh, braking area so once you break it loose then you can pull it out it's coming out very easy then um, you start cleaning these parts because they con contain a lot of asbestos dust from the brake pads uh, with uh, brake cleaner so you get uh, like a three dollar or something a can of brake cleaner and um, clean everything well until you don't see any dust and then lubricate so uh, don't use the white grease I uh, lubricate with a uh, silicone special grease at high temperature you find into the um, auto parts store so uh, lubricate the hinges uh, of course you clean uh, the springs and everything and uh, the generally this bottom area you will see lots of uh, dust deposits because of gravity and stuff so you lubricate this mechanism here that's part of the uh, handbrake or the parking brake and you lubricate this one then it's a mechanism that auto adjust uh, auto adjust the pressure on the brake according to the uh, the wear of the uh, uh, these pads that are part of the uh, handbrake or parking brake so in my case I had to do some work on uh, on the cylinder here and um, so for that I had to take this cylinder out and I figured the the cylinder actually is not moving it has a piston right here inside 
and it was not moving and it was seized and it was seized at uh, while it was compressing the uh, the pads the brake pads so this is one pad this is another pad and so first you have to take these two bolts out so in a let's say in the original position you will have these bolts one bolt here and one bolt below so you have to use a, a, a socket wrench and uh, take those out and don't forget when I put it back use some uh, special brake grease because they uh, are supposed to uh, help this uh, this mechanism to slide back and forth so it's not just the bolts to hold stuff it's also helping with sliding and uh, helping you with the uh, with the brake um, so you take those out you make sure you don't put it in a dirt or some some places where it capture uh, dirt around the, that grease then you get uh, trouble uh, so you take this one out of course and you inspect the pads in my case are very worn out even after uh, one year and something mechanic uh, another mechanic uh, who dealt with my car after he came from Japan and uh, he said he did the brake jobs but one year and something and I'm getting worn out brake pads which are supposed to last maybe two or three years so uh, I don't know what brand he used or uh, maybe he didn't do the job I found other places where he didn't do the job so that's why I don't go back so I had to take this apart so I had to undo this hose here there are two washers on each side to properly seal copper washer to properly seal this uh, this type of uh, connector and then I had to take the uh, once you expose this hole in here um, I had to push with a rod and kind of tap because this cylinder the piston was seized inside even it's made out of copper high temperature uh, material you know uh, it was seized inside and I could find a kind of a ring of uh, uh, oxidized oxidized uh, copper in some sort of, I don't know if it was rust with, or maybe burned oil. So I pushed this one out, cleaned it up, put it back in. So this is an emergency repair. I have to replace it because uh, once it has marks on the uh, surface, that's kind of gone. So. I'm going to uh, replace the, maybe the whole assembly or if I can find just the piston. I don't know what parts that these guys are selling. So put it back in. There is a rubber, a kind of a gasket here. So you have to make sure you don't wreck that thing. And uh, make sure you put this one in the correct position here. So you don't twist this pipe. Or, I mean this hose, the rubber hose, you don't twist in a weird uh, position here. Then you do the reverse operation the way you took it out you remember or take pictures of it and put it back tighten the correct torque that you find on the online manuals or you printed your manual or bought the manual and um, again uh, I would have to replace my uh, brake pads and uh, then again reverse oper operation and don't forget to um, remove the air with this nipple it's meant for that so you will have to have some other person as a helper or you if you use a vacuum pump a hand pump that's another option but uh, the easiest way is you un undo this one a bit just a bit and have someone to press the the brakes or put a piece of wood at the brake pedal you know <laughs> like a the Eastern European way of doing things by yourself. So you put a piece of wood there and come back, you undo a little bit until you see some air bubble coming out, or not bubble, like a, some hissing air or something. Then tighten it, go back, you press the brake several times until it balance the pressure in each, uh, you know, you have to read things online. So this is not an instructional video and don't take this one as an advice. It's just a kind of a tips. Okay, so talk to you in another video. You take care and uh, love your Pajero because he loves you. Bye-bye.